there. So um, I want some help on this ES6 workshop thing. And um, to get some help, I'm just recording this quick video to show how to contribute. Um, and in the process, I'm going to teach you all how to use Split Guide. So Split Guide is this cool thing um, that makes it easier to um, develop workshops like this. So uh, lots of workshops that I make um, have this like concept here where like, okay, you download, install the repo, you run the tests or, or whatever, and, um, and you go through these exercises. Um, and I've got comments in here telling you what you should be doing and, and things that you need to fix and all of that. Um, and your goal is to make the test pass. This is probably the most effective um, type of workshop because it gives you really good feedback. You can say, okay, um, we're, we'll go in here and look at the scripts. We have this start script. And so I'm going to say, okay, npm start. And um, people just start adding tests. So they say, okay, I'm going to save this. And now uh, because Jest is amazing, it's going to run uh, just this file of tests. And your goal is to make all of these tests pass. And as soon as you do, you can move on to the next uh, group of exercises. So um, this this is great, but you also want to have the finished version um, so that people can reference that if they need to, or um, like for example, um, even for you if you're like demonstrating how to use this stuff, it's a good reference. Um, and also like if you keep updating this, you might actually end up updating something that shouldn't be updated in in that way or something makes things confusing so you want to make sure that um, the um, problem that you're presenting to people is solvable um, so the real challenge though is keeping these two things in sync um, and for a while i would keep them in sync manually and that just became a headache like a really bad headache that was no fun to to work with so um, instead i created a split guide and what split guide allows you to do is um, it's it's a CLI and it has a generate uh, command that you can give it um, and it basically allows you to have a whoops a template directory um, where these are all template files and then it will take these and split them into exercises and exercises final um, based off of some special comments in the code so uh, here we have this pragma workshop start and then a workshop end um, and everything um, between uh, these two comments will be used in the exercises um, folder and uh, if it for the exercises final this will be removed uh, and so we can see uh, oh and then we also have a comment start and comment end that means that will be removed um, for both of them, it just won't be uh, applied to either. And then if it's outside of uh, one of those comment uh, pragmas uh, or directives, uh, then uh, it will be included in both. So we can see that uh, here. We uh, Let's just pop open the template and the final. Um, so yeah, we'll put the template over here. So exercises, exercises, final. Let me get rid of that extra line just to make it make more sense. So here we have a comment start and a comment end. So we see that's not in either of these final solutions. Um, then we have some code that's like totally external from um, the uh, like outside of any directives. And so that code is included in both of these. And then we have workshop start uh, to workshop end. So in our example or, or in our exercises, uh, that's included there. And then we have a final start to a final end. And in our uh, exercises final, uh, those are included there. Um, and then these expectations, these assertions are outside of any directives. And so they're included in both. Um, and that's, that's basically how it works. Um, it works in any kind of file, not just uh, JavaScript. So here in the JSON, I mean, things look kind of funny um, because like that slash slash doesn't really have any good meaning. I kind of think that I might be able to do this. Um, um, that might work. Um, yeah, I wonder. I think this this should work. We'll just find out for fun while you're watching. Oh, the problem is the this extra comma. So that's not gonna 
work very well. Here we could do, no, nope, that won't work. So anyway, um, it won't always be perfect in all types of files, but mostly the use case for this is in JavaScript anyway. And uh, so that's why it's slash slash. Um, but uh, yeah, you could do like markdown files. You can do any kind of file. Um, all that it is really is a regex that looks for this. Um, and then everything between uh, those lines um, is used in the exercise directory. So um, you can actually customize uh, some things, uh, not the directives, the directives you can't customize uh, right now, but you can customize the templates directory. So if you don't want it to be in templates um, and exercises directory and exercises final directory, uh, you can also, uh, every single time this runs, it's going to delete the uh, generated directories and, and recreate them. You can instruct it to not do that. Um, and you can also instruct it to ignore certain um, file paths, um, which can be helpful if you have like a lot of files in there. You don't want to have it copy or something or process. So um, yeah, but these exercise or these um, custom directories I actually use in my React workshop. Um, so where is the GitHub React workshop? Uh, because in this one I have the intro side of things and so then there's the templates in there and then I also have um, the app side of things and so the templates in there. So um, yeah, I make heavy use of a split guide in here uh, with those two. So let's see. Um, yeah, so what I need help with in particular is um, when I'm giving these workshops, some people are uh, really good at, uh, at ES6 already. They like understand it pretty well. Um, others are um, just getting into things. And so um, I want to have some like extra credit uh, that some people can do. So what I'm thinking is um, we'll have like a comment block here that says extra credit and then have some more tests down here. Um, test.skip uh, um, extra stuff. Um, and then, yeah, like just the normal following the same style as everything else. Um, so yeah, all the extra credit would be skipped. Um, and then we could add like a comment here. Um, do remove the dots skip from test and do these if you have time or something like that. Anyway. Um, so yeah, we'll have some extra credit tests. And if you um, have any ideas of um, ways that we could further solidify the understanding here of these um, concepts, then that would be awesome. Um, and also, and of course, we'd not want to do this in the exercises directory. Definitely want to do this in um, the um, workshop or the templates directory right here. So um yeah because these will be blown away every single time so that is pretty much it um as far as like because these are tests they're uh, we're using um let's see facebook yeah, jest and so the documentation is here and it's it's a fantastic test runner if you want to know about oops if you want to know about jest go to kcd.im slash egghead Jest, and that will teach you a little bit about how Jest works and how you set it up and that kind of thing. Um, but uh, yeah, mostly like the assertions and stuff are what you're going to care about, and you can find those in the API documentation. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, oh yeah, one other thing, um, if you need to do something kind of fancy um, for like split guide with uh, um, these uh, comments and such, um, like let's say you had a test um, thing one, and um, you want that to be like a, a workshop uh, title for the test, and then you also want a like a final. I have like snippets for this stuff. That's why I'm doing that so fast. Um, so final thing one, whatever. That's not going to work super well. Be, uh, at least it, like sometimes it can look kind of bad, and now we have these uh, extra closing things and so you'd think oh okay well I'm going to share that closing thing between the two of these but that doesn't really work so actually what you what you can do in this situation is add a 
um, comments uh, section here, and that will be removed um, for both cases. And so now, um, like in the workshop, the syntax works, and and like your editor will not scream at you and stuff. Uh, but the final generated um, thing, if we run npm run generate, um, and we'll go into exercises final, um, we'll get that test final thing one, and in exercises, we'll get that uh, test thing one. Um, and so, yeah, like using comment start to make syntax uh, work nicely, the, yeah, something that I found works pretty well. So hopefully, yeah, that's, that's helpful. Um, just, I, I really, uh, I love split guide. It's fantastic. And so I hope it's useful in other applications uh, for you, um, like other workshops that you do or something. But uh, if you want to help me with this ES6 workshop thing by making extra credit uh, for these different concepts or even adding some more concepts, um, as you can see, there's an ES2016 here. So we are going beyond just ES6. There's also the ES2017, um, some things that are I'm going to make it into ES2017, hopefully. Um, and then we could even do like an ES next for like stage features or something. Um, I, I don't want to go too deep into, into that, but uh, we could go a little ways into that. So that's, um, yeah, that's that. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see some pull requests. Bye.